This is a 5 inch drone and this is running the O4 Lite, not the Pro version. And if you're wondering why I did this, well, primarily it's price. The O4 Lite is about half price from or even less than an O4 Pro, depending on where you live. We have some added tax. I don't really need the recording from the O4 Pro as I am using a GoPro on top here instead, which I very much like because I have separate from what I'm viewing to what the GoPro is recording and I can get a lot more color data and bit rate out of the GoPro comparing to the O4 Pro. So I like to keep it separate and that means that I might as well just go with an O4 Lite. The reason I didn't do this sooner was because that the O4 Lite has a pretty narrow field of view at it just I think it's 117 degrees which is quite a bit narrow for well most of the things really. It's fine for a tiny small whoop that I don't really intend to fly very fast or something that's okay but for normal everyday freestyle I prefer a bit wider field of view and since Flywoo did make this wide angle adapter they're not sponsoring this video by any means. I haven't received any products or anything for free. I'm making this totally on my own. I'm pretty impressed with what they have done though. The wide angle adapter does bring this field of view a lot wider. Inside the goggles you can see there's a slight vignette just outside the frame but that's totally manageable. It does really improve the field of view from the regular O4 Lite. Besides the O4 wide angle adapter I also got longer coaxial cable and a CNC housing for the board itself. Now this helps it keeps it cool and does a bit of protection for the board itself. If you do plan on using the DJI O4 Lite in a 5 inch drone or a larger drone I would just take a look at your flight controller and check out the output voltage you have. The O4 Lite takes between I think it's 3.7 and 13.7 or something like that 13.2. Don't connect it directly to a VCC battery pad so that will just blow up the board very fast. Don't do that. Be sure that you check that it is within the voltage range for both the flight controls I've used on this drone and the other one that I used a GGI for light in. The one of them had a 5 volt 3 amp output and the other one had a 10 volt 2 amp output for the VTX so it worked out perfectly fine for me but be sure to check it out and Make sure that you don't fry your board the first time you plug a battery in. So far I haven't had any troubles with neither the camera nor the board breaking. But then again I haven't crashed a whole lot because I haven't really had much time to fly lately. But the times I did fly I had absolutely no problems with either. Now as you can see if you do plan on recording from the O4 Lite and you put that in wide camera mode. You can see the full vignette here of the camera which... Well, some does like it, they say. It does give like a retro feel or something. But I don't know. That's for you to decide. Now, it's a lot cheaper than going with an O4 Pro. The O4 itself cost around $250 when you compare it to an O4 Lite, that's $120. And then the accessory kit here is about maybe $30, $35. So you save around $100 just on the VTX. It's a little bit of weight saving but it's not a whole lot so I wouldn't do it for that reason. Also it can be a little bit bothersome if you break a camera then you cannot buy the camera stand alone yet from DJI directly. I have seen that Flywoo sells the cameras for the O4 Lite independently so that might be an option. So if you have been considering the O4 Lite for a 5 inch freestyle I'd say go ahead if you get the wide angle adapter it's perfectly fine and it does save a bit of money. I should also mention that the wide angle adapters come in a few different styles. Depending on your frame you can choose the O4 and O3 or just a standalone. I don't know how you mount the, the last one but I don't know. You might be able to figure it out. Anyways I hope you enjoyed the video and I kept it as short as I could. So maybe I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.